First on five, one week ago, Mobile police say Samuel Wilson III was on his way to work when he was shot and killed outside his home. Tonight, family and friends gathered for a candlelight vigil honoring his memory in front of his home where that shooting happened. News 5's Dana Winter was at the vigil and she joins us now from Spring Grove West. Dana? Well, Roseanne, it was a very emotional night, but the message we heard echoed what we heard the Mobile Police Chief say earlier this week. They want the man or the people responsible behind bars as soon as possible. Justice for Sam. Justice for Sam. Justice for Sam. Samuel Wilson III, known by his friends as Spanky, was on his way to work one week ago. Spanky was a genuine down earth person. You just talk to him every day. Week after week, I've never known anyone to dislike Spanky. Officers believe he may have tried to stop someone from breaking into his wife's car when he was shot and killed. I lost a little brother, and I'll never get him back. Mobile police still need help identifying the men in this surveillance video. It was taken around the time Wilson was shot. Investigators believe the people in the footage may be part of a gun trafficking ring and are connected to car burglaries, including some in Wilson's neighborhood. They didn't just take someone that they saw that they could just get something from. They've taken my opportunity to be a grandmother again. Wilson's mother making an emotional plea to whoever pulled the trigger. Do the right thing and speak up. Right. Tell speak someone. Up. Tell someone. His mother in law speaking of the young wife Wilson left behind. He was the love of her life. He was my son in law. He was my son. He knew my daughter since middle school. They've been together since middle school. And someone took their son. So if anyone know anything, please, please, justice for my son. The funeral for Wilson will take place tomorrow afternoon at Nazarene Church. Reporting live in Westmobile tonight, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.